Hey everybody, it's Charlotte. Today on Maker's Moments, we'll be showing you how to determine the amount of fragrance oil to use in your products. Specifically, we'll be focusing on candles. The beauty of working with fragrance is that there's a lot of flexibility to find the perfect intensity or hot and cold throw of your chosen scent. If you're new to fragrance, there's a few different factors that will influence the amount of fragrance you choose to use in your candle. First, you'll want to determine the maximum fragrance load for your chosen wax type. This is often listed on the MSDS sheet or instructions that come with your wax. Most waxes have a maximum fragrance load of 8 to 12 percent. This is the total concentration that a wax will be able to hold without causing sweating. This is when fragrance separates or collects on top of your wax, and it'll avoid causing any burn issues. From that range, you'll then want to determine your desired fragrance strength. 8% will give you a more subtle fragrance, and 12% will give you a more concentrated fragrance. You may want to test a few samples within the range to find out which ones you like best. Some fragrances may also give you stronger or weaker throws, depending on the scent notes and the ingredients. It's much harder to get a strong fragrance throw with soy wax than it is with a wax like paraffin. Paraffin holds fragrance much better. The virgin coconut soy, beeswax cocoa cream, and cocoa apricot cream waxes from the Wooden Wit Co. have excellent fragrance throw and can hold an eight to 12% fragrance load. Once you've chosen your fragrance percentage, we've included a link to the fragrance percentage chart from the Wooden Wit Co. below for you to calculate the appropriate amount of fragrance for the appropriate ounce fill of your candle. To read the fragrance percentage chart, find your ounce fill on the left-hand column and guide your finger over to the right until you reach the corresponding top row that has your desired fragrance percentage load. If you're making multiple candles but with the same fragrance, be sure to add up the ounce fills of all the candles you plan to make to calculate the entire fragrance percentage for your full batch of candles. Ready to put your newfound knowledge into practice? What's your favorite fragrance percentage to use? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay in the know on all the latest makers tips and tricks. See you next time on Makers Moments. Happy making!